I have to go back to the kitchen. Vivian, I can practically guarantee something's burning on this stove. What is this that Vivian supposes I'm going to be so upset about? Oh, she just thinks I shouldn't be leaving you and Lacey to dine alone tonight, and I do apologize. Oh, no, no, there's nothing to explain about that. I understand. But I do wish that Dennis would come over for dinner sometime. I'd like to get to know my nephew a little bit better. Of course. Would you like a drink for dinner? Oh, all right, thank you. Is Elliot meeting you and Dennis? No. The bellman? Dennis and I are dining alone tonight. Alone? That's right. Well, then why don't you have Dennis come over here? I'm sure that Lacey would love to spend some time with him. Oh, not tonight, Grant. It's, uh, it's not a good time. Some other night. Dennis and I have some very serious matters to discuss this evening. He's not in trouble, is he? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I was hoping things would turn out well for him now that he's been cleared of the murder charge. I certainly hope so, too. Iris, is there something wrong? You're not in trouble, eh? Ah. Uh, I might as well tell you now. You're bound to find out sooner or later. Find out what? There's a board of directors meeting scheduled for next week at World Oil. Dennis has promised to help me in removing Roy and Conger as head of the company. Good evening, Mr. Kind. Hi, Al. Is my mother here? No, she's not. I'll wait for her at the bar, then. Uh, where's Paige? Haven't you heard? She's out with your father for a night on the town. I don't have to blackmail Justin to keep him. Now, why don't you just run along, Bubba? Maybe you and I can make a deal. I've already told you. I don't have the papers. And even if I did, I don't make deals with trash. Who are you calling trash? You. Take a good, long, hard look at yourself. What makes you think you're so high and mighty, sister? You just like everybody else. You're out for anything you can get. Don't raise your voice, Bubba. Didn't your mama teach you not to raise your voice? All right. You won this round, sugar pie. Get those papers. One way or another. What was Bob in such a hurry about? Rudy, I don't know. Probably had to go honky tonking or something. Yeah. I'll let you know as soon as your table is ready, Mr. Carson. Thanks, Al. Buy you a drink? No, thanks. Looks like we're both having dinner alone tonight. Looks that way, doesn't it? You know, you've been very good to that wife of yours. Have I? Sure. Talking your mother into letting her have her old job back here at the top of the World Club. Not to mention letting her move back into Alex Wheeler's old a suite. Well, that was the least I could do since she refused to take a settlement. <laughs> yes. Very noble of her, didn't you think? Look, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather not discuss it. I'm amazed at how well disposed you are towards her, considering everything she's done to you. Now, taking up with your father? Look, I think that's enough. Well, I think you're talking to the wrong person. I think you should be telling that to Paige. I see. And your dinner with Dennis tonight is to plot the strategy as to how to remove Ryan from World Oil. We don't have to do much plotting. Between us, Dennis and I control two-thirds of the company. Oh. It should be a fairly easy matter to settle. I wanted to tell you, Grant, but I, I knew you'd be against it. You're absolutely right. I am against it. Iris, I can't believe that you're serious about this. 
That's because you refuse to see what Ryan is really like? Oh, I think I've got a pretty good idea what Ryan is really like. He's a decent, hard-working young man who's done one hell of a job for World Oil. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. Yes, I have. And I've made up my mind, too. Iris, if you oust Ryan, that company's going to fall apart. Oh, I don't agree. I think Justin Marshall would do an excellent job running World Oil. Well, for all I know, Justin's a very able man, but he doesn't have the experience to run the whole company. As a matter of fact, there's only one man that has that experience, and that's Ryan. World Oil needs someone with vision. Someone who will carry on the dreams that Alex had for the company. Justin has that vision and drive. Ryan was Alex's right-hand man. Alex trusted him. He knows that company inside out. Ryan killed my husband. That's not true, it Iris. It is true. Iris, for the fifth time, you don't have one single shred of evidence to support that allegation. You're, you're treading on very dangerous ground. I don't care if it's dangerous or not. Ryan is a ruthless man who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. He wants world oil, and I'm not going to let him have it. Sure you won't have dinner with me? What is it you want? Well, I just think we have a lot to talk about. And we have a lot in common. We don't have a thing in common. <laughs> you know, I admire you. I'm sure. Oh, I do. You know how to treat a woman like Paige. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the scene you caused the last time your wife and I were having dinner together here at the top of the World Club. Calling Paige a tramp like that in public. <laughs> Took a lot of nerve. I was angry. People say things they don't mean. Sure. Only a lot of times those things are true. Come on, you have every right in the world to be angry at that wife of yours. I'm not angry anymore. I don't believe that. I don't think you believe it either. Believe what you want to believe. That woman almost caused you to spend five years of your life in prison. Now, one doesn't get over something like that very quickly. Then, lying to you about her past, doesn't matter anymore. And now, taking up with your own father. Look, I told you not to say that. To say what? The truth? Come on, man. You know it's true. She's after your father now the same way she was after you. When she thought you stood to inherit the wheel of fortune. She'd probably get it, too. I mean, women like Paige usually get what they want unless someone stops them. Look, what Paige gets or doesn't get doesn't matter to me anymore. She runs her own life. I, I don't can't. believe you. I think you'd love to get even with Paige. Come on, despise her. It's written all over your face. I know, because I see that same face in the mirror every morning. Get lost. Sure, I'll get lost. Only you think about what I was just telling you. You know, Paige thinks she's really got it knocked. But you and I, together, can put a, put a pretty good-sized monkey wrench in her plans. You know, I know a great deal about Paige. That um, porno flicker was only the beginning. <laughs> you think about it. 